Boom. What up, guys? Island Guy here. Thank you so much for joining me. This is Summer Shredding, episode six. Let's get it. I'm in my element. Money getting bigger, that's the evidence. They want to see me fall, I promise you I never slip. I'm on the grind, do it for the dead presidents. Dead presidents. I'm shining, you yeah, acting like Thomas Edison. All right, guys. Summer Shredding, episode six. Thank you guys for checking this video out. I wanna talk about an interesting subject which is going to be sort of tied in to fitness and my content here, but it's gonna be more on a personal level. Um, in my first video, let's take a seat. Take a load off. Sit down, talk with me. I'm just kidding. Um, in my first video that I made, I said that you know at some point and, and kind of throughout the, the content that's produced for this channel, my personal life is gonna get intermixed into that just because it's kind of a part of what comes with the deal. This is gonna be kind of one of those videos. I thought I heard the door. It was real awkward because I thought there was gonna be somebody standing behind me watching me film. So yeah, my life is gonna get shared. That's just kind of part of the deal. So the other day, I had a very interesting, a very interesting day. We'll leave it at that. Um, well, I'll elaborate just a little bit, but you know, my day took a drastic turn for the negative in a matter of minutes. <laughs> um, and essentially, to kind of summarize it for you guys, um, what happened was somebody spent some time out of their day to find a way to make my life difficult and harder. Anyways, somebody took the time to do that and they succeeded in that endeavor. So they succeeded in being able, on being able to make my life difficult. The way they succeeded is not in the way that you think. It wasn't because of what they did and how it made my life more difficult. It's what that did up here and what that did mentally. So that's kind of what I wanted to share with you guys and that's why I wanted to make this because I, I, I thought it was relevant and that it would be good for you guys to hear. What kind of kicked all this off I think is something that has been in the world and a part of the world for a long time and probably is never going to go anywhere and that's hate. Haters or hatred or whatever you want to call it. And I think that as you succeed, whether that's the like physical projection of success or actual success or just doing better than you were before as that continues to increase there are people that are going to take notice of that and that are, are, are not going to like it <laughs> they're just not if it's just somebody in general that comes across in this case your content your page your stuff and just it doesn't like how you're killing it <laughs> um, there are people out there that do not want to see you succeed. And I don't think that that's just because they like, I think it's either on a general level where they just don't like seeing other people do well or they don't want to see you do well. There are two parts to this and that's kind of what did it for me because I spent a whole lot of time letting this idea feed and eat at me and cause drama and anxiety and things like that just within myself and it got me down. That's how I think that they succeeded in their endeavor. Sure, it was only for like half a day, but it, it, it mentally put me in a place that I didn't like. So you can spend a lot of time in these situations thinking about what they did, why they did it, all that other stuff, but to be honest with you, it's really irrelevant. Like, it's cool for me to know, or like I would like to know why, or who, or what, but the honest truth is that had I been doing what I needed to be doing in the first place, I wouldn't have given them the opportunity to take it to this point. So my direction here that I wanted to share with you guys is that the more you succeed, the more you do well, the more you need to be on guard and the more you need to make sure that you're handling your business. So take care of what you need to take care of and don't put yourself in a position where somebody can utilize that to hurt you, to make your life difficult or to try and pull you back. Because 
I'll be honest with you guys, like, I, no lie, like, I legit was at that point where I had just had it. And that's not a good place to be. You know, I, I really just had to take time and think about the fact that I need to do what is that I need to to take care of me. I can't let other people, their opinions, their thoughts, whether they're negative or even positive, I can't let that affect me to the point where I stop doing what it is that I need to be doing. And it's up to me to control that aspect of my reality, of my situation, right? That's my piece in it. I can't control other people. I can't control what they do. I can't control what they say. You know, all I can do is make sure that I take care of what I need to. So that's my lesson that I learned. You know, it's like, hey, Island Guy, take care of your stuff. Take care of your stuff so that you don't have to deal with this. So that's pretty much what I wanted to share with you guys. Whatever it is that you're doing, whether it's fitness, I assume if you're watching this stuff and you follow my social media, it's probably geared towards something like that. But whatever it is, I talked about this in my last video. I said, find what you're passionate about. Find that passion for you and then go do that. Do that to its utmost, right? Take that to the limit. It, you know, if you're doing that, you definitely have a leg up on other people, that's for sure. But you do not let any, anyone, anything, don't let stuff, don't let background noise, don't let none of that stop you from doing what you're doing. Because if somebody's gonna take the time to hate on you or to do whatever it is that they're gonna do to try and make your life difficult, that means you're doing something right. That means you're not on their level. <laughs> Don't drop yourself down to their level just because of what's going on. Don't do it. Keep pushing, keep doing what you're doing. Thank you guys for checking out this video. I'm Island Guy. If you haven't uh, followed me on my other social media, the links will be down in the description below. Again, I don't do Twitter, so don't look for me there. <laughs> but um, yeah, follow my social media links. Thank you guys for checking out this series, Summer Shredding. We are doing awesome. We're down roughly about six or seven pounds since we started uh, 6.8 i think if you want to be exact <laughs> but we're down we're moving in the right direction um you know i'm excited making little micro adjustments and things like that we're going to get down to where i want to be i have no doubt it's just going to take time dedication and consistency so let's go get it thank you guys again island guy out <laughs>